Here we have an aircraft motherboard that came in for repair. That's how the board looks like. And the next time you fly on an aircraft or airplane, just remember, the motherboard is fixed by me. Fly safe. <laughs> How long have you been watching? Uh, probably two and a half years. Okay. Watching your videos. You're, you're very uh, informed. Thank you very much. All right, you're all set. Thank you. What was your name? Sean. Sean. Uh, all right. Very nice. Take care. Same here. Take care. Let's go under the microscope. And one thing I can tell you is right off the bat, we see a problem right here. Look at how the board has running wires. That's exactly what I did in the last video, fixing a dental chair. Some viewers complained, why the wire? Why do you have a wire running from a certain pin to a certain pad? It's a common practice on a lot of the boards, a lot of the older boards. We have a wire running. That's exactly what I did with the dental board. A wire running from here to here, a wire running from here to here, from here to here. Now let's focus on this guy right here. I do not know what's going on with the board. We do not have that chip. Before I order the chip, I want to see the extent of the damage. Maybe we'll continue in part two. And by the way, this is an audio board, I believe, for a Cessna aircraft. I see a blown cap right here, it's totally blown off. Look at the difference between this one and this one. It's like Pac-Man ate part of it. That's how it looks like. How many of you still play Pac-Man? So beyond this, I do not see any issues. Not to the naked eye, but maybe we can quickly go over the board. Quick visual inspection. And we have similar components that repeat. And it's kind of hard to look at this under a microscope because all the components are big. Those components are not microscopic and a lot of them are through hole. Now let me check the back where that component burnt. Look at this, I see another wire running on the back here. And I do see some burns on back of the board. We're going to have to measure this trace, this one, this one, just to make sure that the traces are making a connection. I think it's a case of replacing the chip, the capacitor, fixing the traces. We're going to have to order the chip, of course. I do not know what that chip is. Let me look it up quick. What is MIC 5011 bn chip? At MOSFET driver IC, manufactured by Micrell Semiconductor, this chip is a component used in electronic circuits to control power to a load, like a motor or a lamp. All right, so that's what the chip does. Let's go ahead and remove the chip. Now the chip is obviously damaged. We do not know if that chip molded itself to the board or if we will be able to remove that chip from the board without creating further damage, but we're gonna find out. And maybe the best thing to do is to apply low melt solder. I do not wanna burn that wire or the insulation on the wire. Like I always say, low melt solder is magic. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, just log into northwishfix.com. You can order our amazing NF dot flux, one of the best flux in the market. You can order low melt solder. You can order this amazing microscope. And you're not going to find anything with a better quality than this microscope. The microscope went through four or five revisions, and that's the quality that you get on the microscope today. 
crystal clear corner to corner, no vignetting, no distortion, and you get nothing but the best. I still want to go over this microscope fully, go over the menu, how you can adjust brightness, sharpness, contrast, how you have a digital zoom in addition to the optical zoom on the lens, how you can measure components, the measuring tool on the scope, which is extremely accurate. But that's for another video. And every person who ordered the microscope is super happy with the quality. If you have one, leave it down in the comments. The chip is out. Now what you see here are the fibers of the PCB because the pad ripped off. So that's the only pad that we need to restore. So back to the ring light, you see the difference between the ring light and the anti-glare light? Two different images. We just got a box and Big Boss just handed me this board and it looks similar to what I'm working on. Same customer, he mailed in another aircraft motherboard. Please repair burnt item or items. We have no diagrams and would like the burnt item replaced if possible. Okay, so similar board. It's a bit different. I could have used a part from here and put it on here until we order a part for this one, but the boards are different. Boards are different. So here we have RN55C. This is a metal film resistor. Let me go to ohms mode. And let me measure from here to here. And we are measuring in circuit. So we may not have an accurate reading, but I just want to see what reading we get? 100K. Let me measure this one here. Same, 100K. And we have 100K, so we're going to assume the resistor is good. And as far as the cap goes, So the cap we can get, no problem. It's 10 microfarads, 35 VDC. And we're gonna have to order the chip. The resistor is good. And maybe we'll do a part two. Meter in continuity mode or diode mode. Let's go to diode mode. So the wire is good. We do not have a broken trace. And let's just verify to make sure that this trace is good also. And the trace is good. And this one looks good, no problem. And the rest, they look good. So I will order the parts, the chip and the capacitor. We'll do further measurements on the board, make sure everything is good. Solder the chip, recreate the wire, the trace if we have to replace the capacitor and then we can mail it back to the customer that's it for this one quick video i know i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think leave it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video